I apologize. I've been in my area like Officer Ricky. It's your boy Revolutionary Cuz, your fair fin fighter, fair fin fighter, ducking it everywhere. No, I apologize. I've been out the loop. Back. They, they didn't implant me with RFID chip. They're not monitoring me right now. Maybe they are. That's the next level shit done. But yeah, I wouldn't really want to blame Sean Kingston for this whole shit because this, this Meek Mills beef really sprung off because him and Sean Kingston just had a little private conversation about Sean Kingston getting his chain yacht. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Now, it's not a conspiracy. It's fact. Public information that Sean Kingston has been having legal issues or financial issues, especially when it comes to making bad financial decisions like rent and jewelry. He had no, basically, an unpaid bill with his jeweler about a year and a half ago, where they had like a fake kidnapping scene. No. And they were basically not at fault because he owed and they came to redeem their merchandise. Sort of like a repossessor, you know, they repossess cars when you don't pay their note. These people, they come and get their jewelry when you don't pay your little tab. But um, I guess within the past month, uh, he, he had another altercation with his jewelry. I guess um, somebody from Game Camp might have had something to do with taking his jewelry, rubbing him the wrong way, touching him. I don't fucking know. I'm not really a part of the situation. I'm glad because when them boys come, I don't know anything. But basically, a nigga got his chain taken, jewelry taken again. He's like, oh my God, this is the second time this is happening to me. When you a bitch, nigga, and, re and the real niggas see you, they're always going to try you. Always. Especially when they catch you without your top-notch security. Now, it fucks me up because you go on your rant in this little studio talking about your bodman this, you come from yard, and yada, 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 games, a, a male stripper, this and that, this and that. You have to understand, don't ask, don't tell. These niggas are actually bodying niggas overseas, my nigga. These body boys, them. So you go ahead and think because you come from a Jamaican descent that you're this rude boy shit, nigga. You listen to too much blood clot Rihanna, my nigga. <clears throat> she had your head all mixed up. As you admitted, you are a pop artist. Jamaican niggas never respected your music or your work. Or you as an individual, my nigga, like. Not to give my family a tree. I'm the third child for my family born here in the States. Both my mother and father born in Jamaica. My sister was the first born. My first cousin was the second born. I'm the third born here in the States. So, yes, I'm, I'm technically American with Jamaican descent, my nigga. But my Jamaican family that come straight from yard, none of them respect your work. Respect niggas like Buju, Bunty, Beanie, Vise, Popcorn, nigga. Even Sean work, niggas, niggas respect his work and shit, you dig? Taking him out the, the Red Cat and shit like that, my nigga, like Super Cat, all them other niggas. Uh, Marcia Griffin and shit, like, I ain't gonna go back and go into the, the yardy history and shit, my nigga, but real yard people don't respect you, my nigga, so please stop acting like you, you're this gangster nigga because you just watched Shata and Bun a couple of splits, my nigga. Yes, we understand you're in Fort Lauderdale where the movie was filmed for partial scenes, but no, my nigga, you're not a Shata. Stop it. But continue with the story. Okay, Meek Mill's getting into a little private conversation, and I guess his name get brought up. So, you know, game learns from 50 cents. When you're attacking the enemy, you're attacking everybody associated with them. Just spray bullets and just hope one of them hit your enemy, and then, hey, worry about the consequences later. So, yeah, shout out to them boys in Cali for that good Cali Moon Rock and some of this uh, Skywalk OG. Dope ass blend. Okay, beef and game start beefing. I mean, game and Meek Mill start beefing. Ah, outlash of the, the sissies. Okay. It fucked me up because right when Game started attacking Meat Mills, Philly as a whole started coming together like, hey, we're not going to have a game who's this icon to a point representing the West Coast coming to Philly, going to, you know, attack the nigga that's basically the spokesman for rap in Philadelphia. Which is, if whether you want to admit it or not, Meek Mills, he is the, the most active, currently most richest to a point, especially due to his girlfriend in Philadelphia right now. You know, they felt like, you know, they, they, they have to come together, you know, they can't allow him to, 
or somebody from their city to take a second defeat. As you just got whooped by a nigga like Game, my nigga. Not, I mean, whooped by a nigga like Drake, my nigga. Sad. So I'm like, okay. AR, him and ARIP shit up. Gilly was like kind of coming around the corner. You know, Philly was coming together. And I seen him with Beans. I'm like, okay. Nigga got the bro sheet bu bully with a nigga and shit. That's dope. I'm like, Philly, 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 Philly. Philly about to make some actions again, you dig? Like, they about to... Get back active in this music scene. Cause after after Drake gave shout outs to AR, you know, he started coming out with a couple new hits and shit. And niggas like, okay, niggas wanna go back and take a look at Philly. Like who else is out here? You did that's how niggas do it when niggas hear new nigga popping from New City. But niggas forget that Philly had had the rap game for a little minute. Okay, so I see him with, with, with beans. I'm like, okay, okay, that's dope. But right when I seen the nigga with beans, like right a couple days before that, I seen that game was like basically sucking Real niggas dick giving shout outs like you normally do to real Philly niggas trying to attack Meek. He's basically giving a shout out to Gilly, AR, other niggas, and the, you know, niggas that niggas never heard of because you're not from Philly and he gave shout out to Beans. I'm like, okay, and of course you're always going to give a shout out to Beans. But I'm like, Beans being the lyricist that he is, he's like, he, he just, he want to get back active on the diss trunk song. So I see that he took the opportunity, ran with it. But then I guess from what I heard, what Beans said, he didn't really you know, catch the, what Game was saying prior to everything starting, because if he did, he would have went about things a different way, which I get what he's saying to a point. But, you know, Beans is his lyricist. Like, when he was on Rockefeller back in the days, and, you know, they had that Rockefeller D-block beef. You know, he immediately jumped in the mix like, yo, fuck everybody. I'm rocking with Jay. Don't matter if he wrong or right. This Jay nigga, this my dog, so I'm a ride. And basically turned from a Rockefeller D-block beef to basically Beanie Seeker versus D-block beef. To me, that was the illest rap rap battle beef in all history. Some people might say Biggie Pac. Some might say Flippin' uh, 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 T.I. Nah, my nigga, for those that follow that beef, my nigga, your beans was a motherfucking monster, dog. He carried Rockefeller on his back for a minute. It wasn't for him, Volume 2, 3, Blueprint, and a couple other CDs wouldn't have those dope-ass features that made those albums classic hits. So I'm like, he rocking with Beans. I'm like, hey, cool, cool, cool. But I guess they started feeling some type of way because Beans came out and uh, I guess made amends with Game. And he also made statements that, you know, he wrote he wrote this nigga this song and shit. But yo, my nigga, that shit means nothing nowadays. Everybody ghostwrites for it. Everybody. Everybody's buying a verse. Everybody's buying a, a hook. Like, if somebody... If you're paid to feature somebody track and they have the song already written, you can't come in there and say, hey, I don't want to spit your shit. I want to spit this shit, but they're paying you for your for your service, your vocals. So you're going to come in and spit whatever is written. And people buy shit all the time just so don't have, because people, it takes a long time to really write, my nigga, to really format the bars and really make sure everything is on point with, 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 with the track and how the track is formatted. Like, this shit is a lot of work, my nigga. So for, for niggas to be like, especially when you come become on a mainstream level, everybody buys, and, and everybody don't write their shit, my nigga. Kanye, Jay-Z, everybody. Your favorite rapper, favorite rapper. Believe that. And that's become common. It, 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 it ain't, you know, battle of the lyricists. They just try to drop albums every other week to, you know, break their contract so, you know, they, they can get their money, quick money and get, get on. So I guess uh, Puffy brought Beans out, and I guess Beans like he was a king of Philly. So I guess niggas really started feeling some way. First he was telling niggas, exposing niggas, saying that he writing niggas rhymes, and now you tell niggas that you're the king of Philly. Well, technically, if you wanna call a nigga king of Philly, if you're not gonna call Beans the killer Philly, I'm probably gonna say that's Cassidy or maybe even Gilly, like Gilly the Kid. Like, when you speak of Philly, you don't think of Meek Mills. At all. At all. At all. Philadelphia 76ers. Might think of old school. Iverson, Gilly the Kid, Cassidy, and um, Petey Seacom. Say property. Might think of uh, Petey Crap before you even. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. Giving Petey too much credibility. I fuck with Petey though. But me being a real hip hop head, no, I'm gonna say shit like that. You dig? But like, for you, for this nigga to really run up on Beans and, and not even 
run up on him face to face, head on, nigga suck punch a nigga, my nigga. Like that, that that's some coward shit to do. Like how do how do you like if you gonna do some shit like that, you kill a nigga like that. You kill a boss. You knock a nigga out and then like that's it. Like, niggas get niggas, police take they get you get escorted out. Like it hurt me like this nigga had no security for, for starting, my nigga. Like, you're beans, you're an icon in this rap game, my nigga. Like, you was throwing up the rock with Jay-Z, my nigga. Like, you were the rock at one point before Cameron and the Dipset came on. Like, for you to be at a Puff Daddy event, nigga, they probably have drones out there flying, protecting this bitch, nigga. You're getting 100 feet closer to, too close to me, Diddy. Watch out. Uh, <laughs> Sad. But for nigga like for you to be slack on nigga security like that, for the, let, let, let these no name niggas get close to a nigga like that, man, like that, that just showed these niggas didn't have his best interests at heart. Niggas was trying to bing, bring beans out because, you know, they could get a couple couple songs off a of nigga and he was back acting with this Meek Mill shit, you dig? So it's like, why not capitalize? Show a nigga love. Beans is a win win for everybody. Beans need the money right now, you dig? Unfortunately, real niggas ain't eating like they're supposed to. Okay. So your man's go and knock Beans out. Now Philly don't stand with you. They don't stand with you. And it was sad because you was doing good. It was all good just a week ago. Like Jay-Z said, my nigga, they was rocking with you hard. I was actually rooting for you on the low, my nigga. Like, oh, nigga got Philly rocking with a nigga. Oh, then this shit. And it, it hurts my heart for you know, all this shit to go down and beans to get assaulted and then now you're like, hey, the rap beef is over. Who does that? Who does that? Like, I wanna, I wanna cry right now. I didn't think you were really gonna go out like that, my nigga, like, real shit. And then game is like, no, this shit ain't over. When I see you, I'm gonna see you. No, 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 you're not, you're not, you're, you're not, you're not fucking with uh, 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 Drake now, my nigga. Game is really gonna really try to put hands on you just so you can get the credibility. Like, he put hands on Meat Mills, nigga. Yo, my nigga, they're coming for your whole career, dog. You're just done. Yo. Go make baby clothes or some shit. Like, <laughs> like that's that's just sad, my nigga. Like, how do you try to end a beef like that? How do you just call quits? Yo, my nigga got knocked out because of you. Now niggas talking bad about your whole street credibility, my nigga. Like, this is, and Beans, I, I just did a diss track out. There's a song out right now that I'm not sure if they're calling it a diss track or not. It's like, yeah, like this is beans you're talking about, my nigga. Like, for a nigga to see that everybody's acknowledging that was a sucker move. So it's like, beans didn't really lose any points. You did. So like, how beneficial was that, my nigga? Yeah, that nigga need to get fired. Need to get whooped. Yo, you you need to whoop a nigga to get some street cred with a belt. Whoop that nigga with a belt on camera. That's the only way you're gonna get street credibility, my nigga. Like, this is nigga that fucked up your career. And you're okay with yourself. <laughs> Man, my heart goes out to you, bro. Like a cancer patient.